How cold is it? 8.5. 8.5 degrees. I think it's pretty cold. Yep. There is snow on that car. There is snow on the side of the roads. This is pretty crazy. Good morning. Cycling fanatics. First day in Spain. Yesterday we flew to Alicante, took the car and we rode down to uh, Altea. This is where we're staying. It's my bike, rental bike. It's uh, quarter past nine. We arrived late yesterday, went to pick up the bike and then just went out for a little spin. Uh, today we're going to train. This is uh, Joris. Hey. Juicing some, uh, some black gold for the training ride today. If you, if you watch my channel, you know Joris. He's been with me to, um, to the Marmot this year. We just wanted to go out to train a little bit, to ride a little bit. So we went on this trip together. Whoa! Kijk dan! Gaat helemaal hier aan de ding! Yes. We're discussing a bit about what to wear today because it's different than riding back home because it's pretty cold but it's also uh, pretty hilly there's quite a lot of elevation so up in the mountains it's gonna be cold descending it's probably gonna be freezing cold so we need to dress up warm enough <coughs> for the descents but not too warm for the climbs. So it's pretty much impossible. So um, right now I've got a short jersey with a very, very thin base layer, arm warmers, and then I've got this long sleeve on top, which I can take off on the climbs. Also, there's a chance of rain. So I'm gonna take a very thin wind slash rain layer just to be safe for the cold descents and the possible rain also wearing gloves so that should be it we're gonna do four and a half hours today so better to warm than to cold because four and a half hours being cold is not really fun another thing to consider will be how intense the training is gonna be are you riding uh, some FTP efforts or you're just cruising in your low endurance zone today is gonna be mostly low endurance with a couple sweet spot efforts and a couple sprints but then with slow recovery so not too intense so dress up warm enough ready set go <laughs> we stay in an uh, airbnb in altea somewhere at the second floor so we need to uh, walk up and down Yo, thanks. Let's see how the actual weather is. Not bad. <laughs> so far, it's better than we expected. First thing is getting out of the crazy part of the city. But Altea is not very big, so that's uh, pretty easy. Well, we're on the bike for one minute. Check this out. That's where we're going. Ching! Right there you can see snow on top of the mountain. Right there behind is some kind of big rock on the coast of uh, Kalpe. Guns out, guns out! 20 minutes into the ride and it's actually pretty warm. But we're still on sea level, we're gonna climb up the direction of those hills and I think it's gonna be colder. Also the forecast this afternoon, it's gonna get, we're gonna get some rain. The first, uh, I don't know, 50 kilometers is all gonna be slightly uphill. So might be a little warm, then we're gonna be descending. So far, roads are good, 
scenery is good. some clothing because so far the weather is nothing like the forecast it's warmer and more sunny than they said so better than the other way around We're on the bike for only 45 minutes. We've already agreed that the surrounding is perfect. Road surfaces are good. The view is very good. Right now the temperature is a little cooler than on the coast. We're climbing up into the, into the mountains. First impression? Not bad. Not bad at all. How's the bike? Pretty good. Different than at home. Yours is riding a, a rental bike. Merida disc brake Skultura 6000 6, super disc. carbon disc Ultegra 8000 equipped brand new road bike yeah. we don't have any deals with uh, Merida or the bike rental so there was a little bit of unpaid promotion but 45 minutes into the ride we're gonna do another 15 minutes then I'm gonna start some tempo intervals two minutes tempo one minute rest eight intervals then another hour of easy then we're gonna do some sprints Yee-hoo! <laughs> already seen a lot of cyclists this is uh, one of the cycling meccas of the of the universe I think so many pro teams are training here during winter we're giving ourselves the pro treatment right here check it out Just started my intervals. I'm doing eight two minute tempo intervals with one minute rest. Means I'm going up a little bit faster in a very uneven pace. So I'm riding off Joris and then he's gonna catch up a little bit again. He's still there. 30 seconds of rest to go. And then it's up tempo again. Tempo interval is 300 to 330 watts. That was my last interval. Uh, it's getting really cold. Don't be fooled by the temperature along the coast. You go into those mountains, whoo, temperature goes down a lot. I see cars coming down with snow on the roof. The cyclists that are coming down are completely packed with clothing and I'm approaching a snow line. Check this out. Snow, 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 snow. So right now I'm happy that I took this extra jacket because I really, really need it. Already riding up, imagine on those descents. I'm running up just a little bit faster than yours, so just gonna wait a little bit for him, then we're gonna continue. Right now it's one hour of slow endurance. Hello? How cold is it? 8.5? 8.5 degrees, I think it's pretty cold. Yep. There is snow on that car, there is snow 
on the side of the road. This is pretty crazy. I think we're almost at the top. So I think it's almost picture time. You know Joris, he's been with me to, um, to, uh, what is that <laughs> really? <laughs> to La Marmotte. Niet te zouden. Goh, kom bakt, die Oh, nu filmt hij al. Ja. Hallo. En dan. Ja, die hadden we wel kunnen gebruiken voor al onze shit. Wat zei je? Die, die volgwagen hadden we wel kunnen gebruiken voor al onze meuk die we bij ja. ons hebben. Oh, ik heb toch een shitje nodig. 